Florian Fuchs, thank you so much for joining us uh, today. Um, the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020, it's here. Well, very close anyway, just a couple of weeks away yeah. now. And I know you, you guys are in Valencia putting your final preparations um, onto, your, onto your planning and training. Um, yeah, it's been a long time coming. How are the squad feeling and ahead of the Games? Of course, everyone's really excited uh, that the Games are going ahead. Um, there were some, some question, question marks the last couple of months. Um, super excited that they can actually play in Tokyo. Um, and yeah, it's been it's been a crazy ride. I mean, we had a long period, 2020, where we couldn't play almost any games. Um, we uh, started into 2021 and yeah, we were sort of struggling, didn't really uh, progress. Um, and of course, that was also due to the to the long break we had uh, in 2020. Um, but yeah, I think the team is quite confident because we had a point in March where we played the Pro League against the Dutch team where things uh, switched. Um, we had a lot of lot more confidence. We played really well as a team. And I think there was also a sort of a starting point and we realized that uh, yeah, we can beat uh, and compete with all the teams at the moment. And the Europeans uh, proved, proved that again. Of course, it was unlucky for us in the final, but uh, that gives you also... A boost in terms of motivation and and trust in in our skills and the team we have and uh, yeah super super excited and uh, I have a lot of trust and faith in in our group uh, I think yeah we we will show some some good hockey and a lot of emotions and uh, and energy that's fantastic um, I'm looking going going back a couple of years now to when you qualified um, you played Austria in the FH Olympic qualifiers um, mm. how how do you uh, what what are your thoughts about that? Can you can you remember much about those games? You get you get nervous, of course. Um, it comes down to two games, and usually you have the you have the World League, of course, uh, where you could prepare. But it was sort of in a tournament setting. Um, you had some some games before you were running up towards the the most important game, sort of. And and suddenly you meet with a group. Uh, you we didn't have much preparation as well, and uh, yeah, it comes down to those two games and. Uh, but yeah, we had Markus Weiser coming back uh, for those two games. He also uh, gave us some some good insights on on how we performed the months and, and years uh, before and and after he left, of course. Um, and that that was also a new perspective uh, for the team. And I think we did pretty well in in the qualifier. I think uh, we secured uh, and deserved the spot uh, at the Olympics. And uh, yeah, it felt pretty good uh, being on the on the pitch with the team. Uh, getting that spot that's sort of a start start of a journey then you know okay we're going to be at the olympics um this team or a much larger group is trying to get there but um germany is actually going to the olympics and uh, yeah it felt like a like, like a starting point mm-hmm.